So let's say I'm here. If nothing else, it'll teach me what I can do, even if I can only do the first 10%. My hand can be here or it can be here, both ways, right? This is usually the easier one. So sometimes I'm moving to take that pressure off and I'm starting to go well on my side. He's trying to stockade, he's looking for all these things. So when I'm on my side here, you can stock it, it's okay. It's hard to get back onto my back and it's certainly hard to get back to face it. So what I'm gonna do is see as I'm rolling over on my stomach, I'm gonna use my top leg usually to either come back to block or in some cases I'm gonna hook and I'm gonna look to roll, roll onto my belly here. And so by doing that, it gives me the structure to take him over. Because all I'm doing is I'm going hip to knee to knee. I like to think of it, to make myself relaxed, I'm falling upward like that with my structure. So as I see he's there, sometimes he's starting to push me. I'm starting to fail. Before I get all stuck up, I, I can come up with my body. I like to sometimes take my leg here and hook so it becomes like a haragoshi in judo. And then, so this helps me pull my body up. I can keep his leg. Right? I know it hurts everyone. <laughs> Not for me, mind you. So I'd like to be facing him. He's keeping me on my back. And now what's worse is I'm going there. Some of you like the pendulum. You start to work here. And in this position, my knee's on the ground. If I see that I get here, and as I'm working, let's say, I can't take that off, I can't take this under, I can use this to come under his arm. And that's already set up for you. We're turning into position, right? He's here, turning on the side. All I'm doing is I'm on my hips. My hips can't fatigue. And I'm going to my knee and then to my knee. And as I do that, whoosh, I walk up. And I go, does that make sense? Yeah. I'm generally, when I'm going on my head like we did yesterday, using my forearm as much as I can. I couldn't lift him physically. If I use a smaller person, you'll see, I don't use more force. I don't want to say, oh, I can lift you, therefore I will. If I'm, if I'm being turned, I go on my hip, on my knees, it should be the same structure. If you start using power just because you can, it's a bad habit. Then when it's not going to work, you're going to try because you think, I think it's going to work. You try, it hits a wall. And that's where you get stuck in dominant. Does that make sense? Yep.